addiction isn't just, you know, that you're a pervert. That really what we find out is that people that often fall to addiction are you're more intellectual, you're more sensitive, and you're more spiritual. You're more caring individuals. And so they find out that there is a good quality about their husband and that he's struggling with something that is a chemical. You know, there's a thing that's been, that has happened to him, that it's not a character flaw, that he does love his wife. She learns about it and realizes, this isn't my fault. Yes, I've been violated, but not intentionally by him. And so she starts to overcome and look at it differently and starts to fall in love with him. He starts to turn toward her instead of the pornography. And in a short time, they're looking at you and they're saying, you know, this has actually brought us together, the overcoming of it, rather than trying to ignore or fight or feel like that it's awful or, you know, this is not where we should go. And so when you find individuals, like I was talking to... Uh, one of the others that was addicted for about 40 years, and I said, why would someone want to get into treatment? And he shared very briefly, and I'll just, I'll just, because it's kind of neat. He said, when he was in the military, that the drill sergeant had them all lined up at attention. He says, we need to get up to the barracks and, you know, resolve things. And we, you know, clean up the barracks. And then he waited a second, you're not there yet? Well, they were in attention. They can't leave until he lets them go. Why aren't you there yet? And then he looked at me and he said, that's the answer. People that are in pornography, why aren't you there yet? Why aren't you overcoming it? The damage that you do to yourself, the damage that you do to your loved ones, the damage that you do to children, okay, that is destructive. 